Now I know it's hard to see, but look at the ghost images of Rascal as he's moving in to that slow in from 20 to 31. You can see the drawings get tighter and tighter as he slows in. And there he is at 31. And now he's going to be pulling back out into this movement there. So he goes there. And now I wanted to put in a little bit of pop, but um, I go back to putting it. I go 31, 33. Then I switch to ones here. Don't worry so much about that. Just for this tutorial, I just want you to focus on the charts. Should have put that loop there. I just want you to focus on the charts and the placement of the loops. So this is, again, just a basic slowing. He's coming out 33, and then he goes into 34. And you'll see from this one, if you look at the drawings again, look at the onion skinning, he comes in and all the drawings get tighter right in there. I'm going to turn the onion skin off on this. So we'll just take a look there. Then he gets tight right into there. And now he's going, don't pay attention, eyes closed. That's something else. And what that means, you know what? I will talk about that. What that is, is again, it's a note to me. So I don't forget when I go to put back in drawing 39, I want the eyes to be closed on that one. So that is something to remember. You can write all the notes you want to yourself or your assistant, just so you have total clarity of your scene. And then he's coming out. There's 38, 9, 41, back on twos. And then he just slows in right there to the last drawing. Let's look at this chart again. This is another slow in chart. All right, there. Okay, so that's really your basic rule in animation when you're laying down your charts. What we have here is a little bit of a snappier type of animation where you're being a little bit truer to your poses that is a term that's used in animation a lot be true to your poses and what it is is that we are favoring the drawings that we are working out of or working into so there might be for instance on this one i did just for this tutorial i put in a simple direct breakdown drawing 13 that falls directly in the middle of 1 and 15 but the big difference here is is that even though there's a dash here there's no number there's no drawing that's going to fall directly in between 13 and 1 what it is is that drawing 11 is favoring drawing 1 and then after that, here's another dash here. No number here, no drawing, is drawing seven, which is favoring even more so drawing one. And what that does do is it gives you a bit more snap. Okay, and now we can see as he's coming out, these drawings are favoring drawing one. And then here's the big motion right here so what happens is i want you to understand that the eye is starting to see the motion of rascal coming forward boom 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 bang and then the big movement comes and he just pops right into there and then he comes from that anticipation comes out Again, you're going to see drawing 16 is is favoring drawing 15. And then we got drawing 17 and 18, which is a consistent movement. How do we know? Again, because of this loop right there. 
and the spacing is even from there, 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 right up to 18. Or 19, I'm sorry, right up to 19. So there's 17, 18, 19 pops up right into there and what that does by making your charts and spacing your drawings within that correct uh, favoring of the drawings it gives it more snap into your animation and then he just comes up there and now I'm being truer to this pose as he slows in there he's yelling there's still movement but you can see notice how tight these drawings are and they were all indicated on the chart of the previous one right right there and it's just you can see these dashes there they know if I wanted to I could I could just write proceed right there with these drawings but they'll understand and you'll understand as long as you understand it that they proceed into these very tight in-betweens right there. And then he goes from 31, notice here, I put in 34, pretty simple, direct in-between. 33, again, is favoring 31, and I made 32 just a direct in-between between 31 and 33, and the same thing down here with 35 and 36. And then he comes into there tight and then on this chart notice how this is a very good example here here's a good one uh, we got 37 notice 38 is favoring 37 very tight that's it right there very tight in comparison to that drawing right there so 38 into 39 you'll see it's favoring it and there's 39 which is down here it's not halfway also note I put in a dash there it is not literally in between these two drawings where I put this dash right there but the loop again is telling me and the assistant it is gonna that is the indication of halfway mark right there but then when we go to 39 we're gonna put 39 right there which is going to be directly in between whatever it it's favoring I'm sorry it is favoring uh, the last drawing which is going to be 47 um, I don't know why I wrote that in there. it's actually 47 because that's the last frame uh, that it cuts on uh, but we're gonna go 47 and then it comes 38 favoring 37 and it comes down here which is favoring closer down here and you got to be very aware and conscious of the placement of the drawings and then you do the exact same thing you start favoring every dash you favor all the drawings closer to 47 41 is favoring closer 43 is even closer to the last one 45 and then this is actually 47 and this is held until 57 then it cuts so let's take a look at this So that's got a bit more snap into it. Now let's go to our last one. And let's just take a look at it. And this one has got the most snap into it. And what I mean by snap, it's up to you or your director or your supervising animator. It's, it's a matter of taste of what you want to get out of the scene. So now let's go with this. 
we'll take a look at this chart and this one is even favoring the drawings that we're working out of and into even more so than the previous scene we were looking at. So seven, very close to one. The nine is favoring seven, 11, and there's the big movement. That's what creates that big snap into your drawings. Then he comes down into there. We want to take a look at this chart again. Here it is the halfway mark, but 16 is favoring drawing 15. 16, favoring it. Big change. See how it's favoring it there and then bam, hits right up there because I want them to pop up in there. And then we get up to 19. It is now, I just put in direct in-betweens. This is our conventional basic slow in. I just want to hang up there because that's where he's yelling. If, if there is a soundtrack, it will still hit the mark of the soundtrack. And you can see how tight all these drawings are. So the main point was for me to get up there quickly. Then he's up there, very tight drawings, very tight in-betweens, and here we go again. Now we're gonna go in from 31 into 36, it's done on ones. Here we got 31 is, I mean 33, sorry, 33 is favoring 31, and then 32 is just a direct in-between. I just chose to put it in there, and then we're gonna come out of 31, 32, 3, and there's, look at that big gap in the spacing. There, 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 boom, right there. And that's how you get that snap into your work. And look, big gaps in between the spacing of the drawings. Comes down to 35. Because if we look here, 35 is favoring 36. And then when we come down to 35, watch how it's close to 36, right there. Again, slowing out, slowing out, but favoring, pop, pop, slows in, tight, tight drawings. And then he comes in here. And now we're gonna come out of there again, 37, favoring 36, and then all these drawings right in here, all the dashes, this space right in there, we're skipping over. We're just gonna pop over to 38, which is gonna be 37, boom, right there. Coming out, slowing out, boom. Boom. And this is also a side note. This is what beginners, a lot of times beginners, they put in their animation will look floaty because they're putting in the, the spacing of the drawings are too even and it makes it look floaty. So then you just pop into it. And again, I want to repeat this very important because we got this little movement right there, the eye. The viewer's eye, our eye, the human eye can see this, this motion. We feel it. We don't really see it per se, but we feel it coming out. And then you can go, bam, right there. Just have them hit right there. And you'll see how tight these drawings are. Just locks in right there. And this, this one was held and then it cuts. So let's take another look at this speed. And you can see how all these scenes have a different sense of timing into them. We started off with your basic standard conventional slow outs and slow ins. And then the next one, we started favoring some of the drawings. And then on this one, we pushed it more as far as 
favoring the drawings to get that snap into your animation. So you guys, I hope this helps, and if you like this, please subscribe to 101 Animation. Thank you for watching.